As part of measures to find durable solutions to humanitarian response in Nigeria, the federal government, United Nations agencies, development partners and ambassadors have restated their commitment towards a coordinated approach and pledged to raise $5 billion annually for the nation's Humanitarian and Poverty Alleviation Trust Fund. This was the outcome of the first humanitarian coordination meeting by Minister for Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Dr. Beta Edu, with other stakeholders in Abuja on their commitment to crisis in Nigeria. The meeting brought all the humanitarian responders in Nigeria under one roof, where they all committed to a durable, smart and coordinated approach to humanitarian responses. Would be, um, of course, going forward, having government as the lead coordinating all the humanitarian response in Nigeria. We would also be hashing on fully getting commitments from the federal government, um, from private sector, all the UN agencies, partners on their contribution to the Humanitarian and Poverty Alleviation Trust Fund. We've agreed on a quarterly meeting. We've agreed on a joint assessment of the humanitarian crisis across the country early next year. And then we're looking forward to the African Humanitarian Summit um, next year, where we'll be bringing together all the key players in the humanitarian sector around the world. And this will be a follow-up to the World Humanitarian Summit, which held in Istanbul in 2016. On his part, United Nations Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator in Nigeria, Matthias Shimali, uh, who spoke on behalf of UN agencies, expressed absolute support to the government of Nigeria in its efforts to tackle humanitarian challenges facing the country. Similarly, the ambassador of Malaysia, Norway, and United Arab Emirates, among other ambassadors, committed to supporting Nigeria in a more strategic way to address humanitarian crisis in Nigeria. We have been waiting for stronger leadership in the government on humanitarian affairs and poverty alleviation. And I think the minister set out very clearly uh, what the expectations of government are. And on behalf of the UN, I can say we stand ready to play. You know, we need to deliver together for the benefit of vulnerable people in this country. So as the minister said in the meeting, we can do this together, which means better coordination, better accountability, and at the end of the day, results for people in need of humanitarian assistance and needing to reduce poverty. A lot. We would begin to see results, properly recorded results, properly coordinated response across the country and then new areas that we did not have interventions and boots on ground in time past. We'll begin to see that happen as we go forward. We also mentioned today uh, the Northwest um, Humanitarian Operation Response Plan. Uh, this is the first of its kind for the Northwest. We've had a lot on the Northeast. Now we're including the Northwest and then, of course, Benue as a state and other flashpoint in Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.